I spent a weekend at a conference center recently. Usually when you go to a conference or retreat, like, the big takeaway isn't, oh yeah, the food was really good. There are retreats that I've been to that, like, years ago were housed at, like, other locations than they are now. And whenever I hear people talk about where we used to have this retreat or this conference, it's always, oh, the food there. Ugh. This is something that sticks with us, and while this is still fresh in my mind, I just want to take this opportunity to talk about it. I, I feel like there are a number of things to look out for. The first thing about conference center food is that it's typically not going to be exceptional. It's very surprising when it's exceptionally good. Keeping the details to a minimum, I regularly cook for about 30 or 40 people. And one of the main things that I'm thinking about is how can I keep this generally homogenous so just about everybody's getting like the same thing and have it be something that'll be tasty to everybody. When you're doing that, like you can't make anything too spicy, um, you have to be thinking about dietary restrictions. Like with conference centers, they have to have food that's gonna be palatable to many different kinds of people. Not only like age ranges of people, like you have to shoot for food that'll be okay whether you're five years old or 85 years old. You have to be even more safe about dietary restrictions. So there's kind of a, a necessary ceiling for like how great the heights are that the food can actually reach. You gotta go in with that expectation. Like, it is what it is. So a lot of what I like to kind of rate conference center food by is not only like intrinsic quality of a given thing, but what kind of variety they have. I think the only time that I've had like the complete breakfast that commercials tell me about is when I'm at conference centers. Cereal, orange, orange juice, eggs, bacon. So it's the only practical time to just do everything main course for dinner, like, I think there were like three different kinds of vegetables, various different kinds of meats and things. This might not be like top-notch quality, but if you like beef, there's beef. If you like chicken, there's chicken. You know, keeping it like that, thinking along those lines. Something that I think about very carefully while I'm in buffet lines at places like this is how I'm gonna organize my plate. Now, when you're going through a line like this, your food's gonna touch, and your food's gonna touch, food's gonna mix a little bit. That's just part of the nature of the beast. So you want to be thinking about, okay, well, what am I okay with pairing? And also, what would be awesome to pair? Like, thinking about breakfast foods, just like, I am putting maple syrup on this, and it's gonna get on my eggs, and that's okay. Embracing those kinds of opportunities. I think breakfast food is, like, best mixed anyway, but I mean, whatever, that's just me. I have at least one friend who's gonna get really triggered by that. I very much appreciate the tools that I learned working at Panera for approaching salad bars. When I was like 13 or 14, if I was at a salad bar, I'd be like, I like broccoli, and I like olives, and I like, you know, and just going on and on. Three different kinds of cheeses, just that's how I used to approach salad bars. Now I think like, you want to approach salad bars with a game plan that you formulate pretty quickly. And this is another area where it's great to have lots of different options. Like you can make a Greek salad or just like a garden salad, and, but like stick to themes. So that's what I'm thinking about when I'm through those. So like the more options, the more different kinds of salads you can make, but you want to be careful not to just overdo it. Because then it's like, why do I have this 13 pound like, mound of vegetables. I mean, that's just a wasted opportunity. In general, I would recommend salad bars over, like, vegetables in, like, the heated trays, because there's basically no getting around it. They're gonna be mushy. Like, I don't know, maybe you like mushy vegetables, but if you don't like mushy vegetables, definitely stick to the salad bar. Definitely take full advantage of dessert, um, combine stuff. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about breakfast, salad bars. Oh, how was the food? Oh, it was fine. Why am I talking about this? <laughs>